Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. I invite you to visit our website at www.usmlvideos.net. That is www.usmlvideos.net because we have been posting many, many videos nowadays for you. Uh, so I request you to go to our website if you have some time and uh, explore our videos um, uh, in uh, multitudes. Now, today I want to talk a few minutes about uh, Vibrio vulnificus. You see, here in America, you do not hear much about uh, Vibrio cholera, okay? That's a, a disease you see in developing nations. But there is one Vibrio that you need to remember, that is Vibrio vulnificus. It is uh, seen along, it's a marine organism. It's found in warm salt waters, such as in the Caribbean Sea. And you will get the question like this. A patient went to Texas and uh, he went to swimming in the ocean. And what did he get? He developed some cellulitis. Later on, he developed some bulla on his skin, like blisters. And later on, he developed DIC. So what is your diagnosis? The diagnosis is Vibrio vulnificus. That's going to be my topic tonight. So let us talk a few minutes about uh, this interesting organism. This organism is Vibrio vulnificus. You remember Vibrio cholera that causes uh, the cholera that uh, is the most common cause of diarrhea in many countries. But this problem, Vibrio vulnificus, it causes like diarrhea, it can actually cause cellulitis and severe septicemia and then hemorrhagic bulla in paper. This is a infection that commonly seen by the ingestion of raw shellfish. So you need to remember those words, shellfish, people who eat oysters, people who eat raw shellfish, and people who are bitten by crabfish while they are in some Gulf Coast or Pacific Coast or in their visit to Caribbean islands. These people, they are particularly vulnerable, okay? Atlantic Coast, Gulf Coast, Pacific Coast, people who go to these areas, they are particularly vulnerable for Vibrio vulnificus. So we need to remember this point very, very well. And also remember oysters. Whenever you, see, whenever you see a person who has eaten selfish and then developing hemorrhagic bulla, think about this problem. And if the person has alcoholism or liver failure, they can actually go into a life-threatening septicemia and later developing a, even DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. So Vibrio vulnificus can be a fatal disease. 50% of patients, uh, they die when they get the bacteremia. But the infection could be mild in lot, lot more other patients. But once they get bola, once they get the cellulitis and the myositis, once they get the necrosis, these people will uh, get the problem. You remember back in 2006 when Hurricane Katrina it, uh, uh, it blasted the coast of Louisiana and uh, Texas. What happened? Many people, they died. The, some of the people who died after Hurricane Katrina, they died because of this particular organism. Many of them died because of Vibrio vulnificus causing septicemia and hemorrhagic dermatitis, uh, bola resulting uh, in the infection. So the most important thing you need to remember is they eat shellfish, they, are, uh, they handled crabfish, they handled uh, oysters, they visited these coasts, and uh, coming to the treatment, you use doxycycline. Okay, so those are the most important things. So Vibrio vulnificus is a marine organism which lives in saline waters. And typically you get a case like this. A 50-year-old male went to Texas and uh, one day he went to the uh, Gulf of Mexico and he was on the beach and then he was bitten by a crab 
and later on the day he developed fever, diarrhea, and hemorrhagic bulla all over his body. What is your diagnosis? Vibrio vulnificus. That's the most important thing you need to remember about Vibrio vulnificus. I hope you got something. Please post your comments on our, on our website uh, down below the video. And uh, some of you have been asking me about uh, the best book for clinical skills. I recommend USML is Smasher. Okay, USML is Smasher. Uh, this book is uh, excellent. Some of you waste thousands of dollars on coaching centers and uh, live courses. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars. All you need is to uh, learn a few basic skills to pass clinical skills examination. I recommend you to buy USML Smasher and it has doctor-patient communication skills, mnemonics, and even the most important cases, 70 of the most common cases you see on the examination are given uh, in a very, very uh, friendly and easy to understand way. So I request you to buy this book and it is available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And that's about tonight. And uh, please take some time to visit us at uh, www.usmlvideos.net where we post hundreds of videos. And we have actually divided all videos under different subjects so that uh, you can easily go from subject to subject at the ease. And, and you can listen these videos many, many times because we stress only the most important points. For all of us here at usmlvideos.net, thank you very much. This is Dr. Paul.